hello everyone welcome back to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this beautiful exponential math problem without using a calculator so how can we solve this math problem here first of all we will try to factorize this power 20. so therefore we can write this 20 as 2 raised to power 20 can be written as 10 times 2 which is 20 minus 4 now here in this one number we will use an exponential identity a raised to power m times n so here we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m times n which can also be written as a raised to power m or raised to power n so using this exponential identity here this number will become this will become 2 raised to power 10 all raised to power 2 minus here we can write this for as 2 square now look at to both the terms both the terms are in square form so here we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square identity so here we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b so using this algebraic identity here our a is 2 raised to power 10 and our b is 2 so this number will become this will become 2 raised to power 10 minus 2 times 2 raised to power 10 plus 2 and we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 10 in both the numbers so therefore we can write 2 raised to power 10 as 2 raised to power 10 means we have to multiply this base 10 times so let's multiply this 2 10 times so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 32 times 2 is 64 64 times 2 is 128 128 times 2 is 256 256 times 2 is 512 512 times 2 is about 1024 so therefore the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 1024 so here we will replace these two numbers 2 raised to power 10 with this value 1024 so this number will become is equal to 2 raised to power 10 which is 1024 minus 2 times 2 raised to power 10 which is 1024 plus 2 now let us subtract and add these two numbers so this will become here this subtraction will give him 1022 times and this addition gives him 1026 and we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator so how can we multiply these two numbers easily so here we will use a track that is we will write the first number as the same 1022 will be the same and here we will change this number to the sum of 1000 plus 20 plus 6 which gives them 1026 and we multiply this number with these three numbers so this will become let's multiply this number first with 1000 so this will become 1022 times 1000 plus let's multiply this number with 20 so this will become 1022 times 20 now finally we'll multiply this number with 6 so this will become 1022 times 6 now let's multiply these three numbers with each other so this will become here 1022 times 0 is 0 1022 times 0 is 0 1022 times 0 is 0 and 1022 times 1 is 1022 so this will become 2 2 0 1 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 1 million 22,000 plus let's multiply these two numbers so 1022 times 0 is 0 1022 times 2 is we have to multiply this number with 2 so let's multiply 2 with this number so 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 0 is 0 and 2 times 1 is 2. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 20,000 
440 plus let's multiply these two numbers so we'll start from the ones position 6 times 2 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried 6 times 2 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so 3 1 will be carried 6 times 0 is 0 0 plus carried 1 is 1 so this will 1 6 times 1 is 6 so here the product of these two numbers gives him 6132 so finally we will add these three numbers so that will be our final answer now to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position so let's start from the ones position 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2 so this will become 2 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 0 is 7 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 0 is 5 so this will become 5 6 plus 0 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 so this will become 8 2 plus 2 is 4 0 1 so here the addition of these three numbers gives him 1 million 48 thousand five hundred seventy two so finally 1 million 48 thousand five hundred seventy two is our final answer and value of this interesting explanation math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching